What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Dom. I am Nicole Raffi. My name is Kaya. My name is Nasser Karma. I'm Nina. My name is Lisa Fan. Hello, everyone. It's Elena. My name is Abby Aslan. I'm Allie. Hey, all you cool cats and kins. It's Carol. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Hunter Woodhall. My name is Tara Davis. I'm currently a third year medical student studying at King's College London here in the United Kingdom. I go to MIT and I'm from Newton, Massachusetts. I'm Hunter Fudan University in China, Kuala Lumpur University in Thailand, Aoife Paris in France, Copenhagen Business School in Denmark, and... Yeah, that, that's like pretty much it. I'm originally Polish, but I grew up in Denmark and I lived in a couple of different countries, so... I attend the University of Alabama and I'm a senior. I go to Temple University. I go to the University of Arkansas. I go to the University of Texas. I'm a second year law student at the University of Cambridge, but I'm originally from Stuttgart, Germany. I'm a YouTuber from UCLA. I'm currently a student at Northeastern University. Today I wanted to bring this very important video to you guys. This whole situation has affected me in a major way. I've been stuck indoors for about three weeks now, which is driving me absolutely crazy. On the day that all of this um partaken partaken partook 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 there we go it was march 11th when temple university told us like you gotta get out of here like school is gonna be online for the rest of the semester we can't use the facilities to train there anymore and good luck go yeah, go, yeah do whatever i could feel like my heart drop and i was like praying that there was some way that it wasn't real. I was so sad, I was devastated. I cried the entire day um, because I wasn't gonna see my senior friends anymore, but in addition to that, I didn't know when normal life was going to return. I booked a flight on very short notice, tried to put all of my things into storage. It was quite stressful to pack up my entire life within just, you know, a day. Commencement was on the line and that it might not happen and I was very unsure of everything like when I would be coming back. The national championships was cancelled and we got on a plane that night and came home. So I spent most of my time filming strangers from different universities. If you don't know I make the 73 question videos with different university students. So really made it difficult for me to continue making those videos as I can't travel and also universities have all been shut down. I'm not able to go back to Poland where I live at the moment where my apartment is where my job is i've been stuck in denmark for almost a month now and i have no freaking idea when i will be able to get back so now my daily routine mostly consists of i wake up if i have any lectures like virtual lectures to go to i'll uh, tune into those it's been really hard adjusting to online college especially with these hard classes that i'm trying to figure out online schooling for me has sucked pretty much like I have no motivation for the rest of the semester. Yeah, it has been a lot to adjust to especially um, since I actually studied abroad my first semester and so I hadn't actually spent a full semester on Northeastern's Boston campus ever. I thought I was gonna actually be really good at it and I liked it the very first day because I was like, oh, this is fun, like Zoom, whatever. And then as time went on, I was like, no, this is not for me, like, I don't like this at all. I wanted to share some tips that have been keeping me more sane and productive during these days at home. My best tip for it is keep up a routine. Treat it like class, you know? Even though your lectures aren't scheduled like normally and you may even not have to show up for them live. Waking up early, I'm keeping myself organized and sticking to a strong study schedule. Stick to a schedule. Maintaining your usual schedule. I've actually planned out a morning and night routine. Having consistency in my day has definitely helped me in all aspects. My well-being and also my productivity. My recommendations to keep proactive is just to change your environment a little bit. I know when I spend my days in my bedroom, I don't get much done. I don't do my schoolwork in bed. I don't watch my Zoom classes in bed. I sit at my desk. I get dressed. I get ready every single morning. I have a routine with like eating, what I make myself to drink. Like I get excited for my iced matcha latte every single morning. Don't just stay in your sweatpants because Staying in your sweatpants communicates to your brain, okay, it's chill time, it's relaxed time, I can be on my bed and watch Netflix. And that's not what you're supposed to do while you're studying. Set a timer on like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever your break will be. And then when the timer go goes on, off, on, whatever, you go back to work. What's been keeping me sane is making sure I exercise and work out for at least like 30 minutes um, almost every day. I do indoors workouts with my cats. Like for some reason, they really laugh when people are exercising and they kind of like want to join. 
but you know they're obviously not exercising they're just being cute and interrupting but they're so cute so i've been trying to go out for runs as much as i can pretty much every other day which has really helped me get a change of pace and change of scenery from everything that i'm doing at home quarantine can get lonely so don't allow yourself to completely isolate from your social life you're supposed to physically isolate not socially okay Stay in touch with your friends, show them that you love them. They're probably just as lonely as you are. Keeping um, in contact and communicating with fellow classmates and organizations you're a part of really keeps everything feel a lot better. And I know that it might feel instinctive to be spending more time on social media or watching the news because we have more time at home and we're bored during the day. But instead, I've been consciously limiting the amount of time that I'm on social media every day. One thing you can do to avoid going on social media is using the app Forest. Forest is an app where you can basically grow a tree. Um, and if you go off the app before the timer is off, the tree dies. As someone who has accidentally killed a few trees on there, I can tell you it's traumatizing. So don't kill a tree. So there's so much that we can do with this extra free time that we've been given, and I'm trying to make the most use of it as possible. So because I spend a lot of time sitting at this desk, writing my notes and listening to online lectures, I've actually got my girlfriend on my iPad over there. She keeps me company while I study. <laughs> She's got the cutest little kid. Also, this thing has taken over my life, Animal Crossing. During these challenging times, I think it's okay for all of us. I don't think it's okay. It is okay. It is freaking okay for all of us to do things that we simply enjoy doing. So I'm just trying to stay positive focus on the things that I can do instead of focusing too much on things that we cannot do. I think honestly a change of mindset that's helped me is not that we're stuck at home, but more so that we're safe at home. And also a lot of appreciation for the world for withstanding so much of the damage that we do to it. I think it's really amazing how much this world has given us and I wasn't able to realize that as much until this crazy situation happened. Now I know these are scary times but there are a few things that you can do that can be really really effective to help others and yourself. Make sure you guys are continuing to wash your hands. Dirty mofos. Nasty. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash our hands frequently. Girls with acrylics, make sure you're getting underneath those nails, singing happy birthday while you wash your hands, and yes, the entire happy birthday, not sped up, not too slow. Another thing you can do is you can wear a mask and you can easily DIY these. This one is one that my mom made. Covering your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Maybe don't sneeze like in someone's face or their tea, perhaps. Yeah, don't sneeze and try like co tea. cover it up. Dad, remember when we used to dab? Bring dabbing back and cover your sneeze or cough. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Stay six feet apart from people when you go outside. If you need, bring somebody who is six feet tall, <laughs> have them laid down at your feet, and then you can kind of like gauge where that exactly. circle of other people shouldn't cross. Exactly. Disinfect your surfaces as much as you can, especially if you're going from outside to inside. You want to make sure that you're properly disinfecting all the surfaces that you or your things are coming into contact with. I know I've been spraying my packages coming in the mail with disinfectant, making sure all the bacteria and germs are killed before I proceed and bring it into my home. I hope this is really obvious by now, but please stay at home. Please stay home. Stay home. Stay within the people who you live with. Not going to hang out with friends, even if it's just one. There's a network of people behind other people. I'm wearing my pajamas right now. I hope you're wearing your pajamas right now too, watching this video. Even if you're in a country like Germany, which is that well prepared, please don't treat this as just a carte blanche for going out. It's not. You have to be careful and you have to socially distance. So let's make sure that not only we keep ourselves safe, but we keep everyone else around us safe, especially those who are more vulnerable than us, like the elderly or any immunocompromised patients. We don't want doctors to have to decide whom to save because they don't have enough time and equipment to save all of us. Of course, thank all of the doctors and healthcare workers that are putting in so much work to um, fight this. Sacrificing their own health and their family's health to take care of everyone else. I cannot stress enough the importance of working together to save lives. We're all in this together. We're all in this together, flying that curve so we can all get out of here. Anyways, make sure you guys are staying safe out there. Stay safe, stay indoors, take social distancing seriously. Stay healthy, look out for yourself.
be good, make good decisions, yeah. I hope this video was inspirational for you guys and that you learned something from it. Thank you to all the YouTubers that joined me in this collaboration. I'm gonna tag all of their information down below, so make sure you go to the description box to check out their content because they're all amazing people. Have a wonderful day, kids. Bye.